On May 29th, with a solid win in Texas, Mitt Romney passed the 1,144 delegate threshold needed to formally seal his nomination as presidential candidate of the Republican Party. But the relatively long, drawn-out nature of the process is a reminder that he still needs to work hard to convince Republicans in the South and the Midwest of his conservative credentials. Attention now shifts to the general election campaign, now fully underway. Our YouGov poll is gloomy news for the president, who is now just two points clear. A week ago, he was up by five. Terrible jobs figures for May are probably responsible for a lot of that. And other polls have things even tighter than that. Several in recent days have put Mr Romney a percentage point ahead. There is more gloomy news for the president here on our version of Real Clear Politics Swing States Map. In the past few days, polls have shown a number of states slipping into toss-up territory that were formerly thought to be leaning towards Mr Obama. Nevada, Wisconsin and, worst of all, Michigan with a whopping 16 electoral college votes are now clearly battlegrounds. Worst of all, perhaps, for the president is that some polls in the vital swing state of Ohio now show Mr Romney as slightly ahead. More cheering for the president, or so you would have thought, is that people seem to trust him far more than they do Mr Romney. Nearly twice as many of them think Mr Obama says what he believes as think that of the challenger. And they like him a lot more too. Only one in ten people like Mr Romney a lot versus a third for the president. But both of them, it seems, are a lot more popular than bankers who are overwhelmingly picked out in our poll as the culprits most people blame a great deal for the dismal economy. Least likely to be blamed a lot, it seems, are the people who actually took out the loans that they subsequently couldn't afford. Will Mr Obama keep going with his banker bashing? We'd expect so.